Is it really true that the cause of the looming war on House of the Dragon falls on Otto Hightower's shoulders? Some fans of the show are labeling him as the problematic character who everyone should blame. Others are convinced Viserys Targaryen is the true cause of all the drama. Here's what fans of the show are saying online. One social media user posted, The biggest person at fault for the Dance of the Dragons is Otto Hightower. If it weren't for Otto pimping his daughter out to the king, pressuring Alicent to advance Egon as heir, and then convincing her that Rhaenyra would kill her own siblings to secure her own claim to the throne, literally none of this would have happened. They went on to explain the way Otto ruined Alicent's life by filling her brain with paranoia, which then led her to become a bitter and annoying adult woman. Someone who doesn't quite agree with that take wrote, It's more Viserys' fault than anyone else. Maybe he shouldn't have married his daughter's best friend. He could have found another woman in any of the seven bloody kingdoms. Alas, common sense wasn't Viserys' strongest suit. Someone else who thinks both Otto and Viserys should take some blame commented, Viserys should have delegated power to Rhaenyra, his heir, whilst he was still alive. The last decade she should have been ruling, not Alicent, right down to Rhaenyra choosing the hand. It's like they said about making Eamon regent, it makes most sense to be the heir for continuity's sake when the ill king dies. Otto must take his share of the blame, but really, Vizzy T has to take majority blame. Another avid fan of the show who agrees they're both to blame joined the conversation to say, Is Otto a major factor? Yes, but you guys are naive if you think this exact situation wouldn't have happened if Viserys married anybody else, especially Lena, who was considered the other prominent option. Not to mention Otto actually provides the most pragmatic, albeit self-serving option, to avoid the dance by marrying Aegon and Rhaenyra. Someone else added, I blame Viserys personally. He should have never remarried because it was always going to cause this situation. Also, he should have stepped down as king before dying and let Rhaenyra rule. Who would argue with that? Another fan who agrees with that take chimed in with, Viserys is clearly the person to blame here. If he truly had wanted Rhaenyra to take the throne, he never should have risked a possible son. At the end of the day, if Viserys wanted to be a trailblazer, it only would have worked if he had no kids after Rhaenyra. Otherwise, his plan was doomed. There are definitely major points from all different directions across various social media platforms at the moment. Some people feel like Otto is to blame, while others feel he was brilliant and strategic all along. Some feel like Viserys should get way more negative feedback for his actions, while others are far more forgiving of Viserys for being a peaceful ruler while he was alive. So, was it Otto's fault for encouraging Alicent to pursue Viserys? Or was it Viserys' fault for giving in to Alicent's advances? Does Otto really deserve to be blamed in the way so many social media users are claiming? Or was Viserys really the problem all along? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.